Yeah, hi guys. It's been pretty warm here in Portland this last week and I've had a busy week. Mm. So uh, today's a little cooler. So I thought um, come down to the garden and enjoy a pipe and relax. I'm smoking a pipe that I've had for a while. It's a, a Nording uh, pipe. Um, it's a nice pipe, um, Danish style, of course. Nording makes some some really nice Danish style pipes. Um, Stanwell does as well. Um, I like both. Nording and Stanwell pipes, um, especially in the past, I, I had quite a few, um, or still have quite a few um, Danish style. Mm. I'm smoking a tobacco today that I've wanted to smoke for uh, a long time. Um, perhaps uh, five years or so. Um, mm, goes back to my last channel. Uh, I had a um, couple of friends, well one still a friend, of course James, um, in Thailand and um, Thomas in Germany. Um, they talked about this tobacco um, quite a bit and it always sounded really intriguing to me and I always wanted to try it but for one reason or another um, it just never happened I never got my hands on a tin or um, yeah for for one reason or another I just I didn't get a hold of this tobacco but mm, Last year, um, it kind of crossed my mind again, and so I placed placed an order um, at a tobacco shop in Germany, and I don't remember which one it is, um, or I'd put the description down, but I, I can't remember um, which one it is. But you can you can find it online, this tobacco, and so I placed an order last year and got it. And there's just been so many tobaccos in this, well, there always is, but especially in this last year that I've um, been wanting to try and uh, just been wanting to smoke um, old favorites and whatever. So I never really got around to um, cracking this tin. Um, so I thought today would be a, a perfect day to um, just do a little review um, on this tobacco that I uh, opened a couple weeks ago. Mm. I've been enjoying uh, so let me show you the tobacco and uh, tell you a little bit about it it's um, it's um, Burberry um, this is done by um, by Planta uh, Perhaps if you do remember this blend, um, you'll remember the old tin, um, kind of a darker green, um, and it went this kind of this direction, and it was very, uh, very kind of classic looking, um, and I think it fit this tobacco. Um, right on the front, uh, it says luxury classic pipe tobacco, right here. So. Um, I think the old tin perhaps had a little bit more um, of a classic look to it, um, but uh, whatever. Um, we don't really care about the tins as much, I guess, um, as we do care about 
if the tobacco smokes well. But um, it was one thing I was just slightly disappointed that they changed the, the look of the tin because I liked the, the old style better. Um, but let me read what it says on the back of the tin. It says classic Burley and Virginia grades with double fermented black Cavendish. Elegant mixture with a touch of pistachio nectar and also soft sweetness. And then it calls it a variant cut, uh, which is true. It's kind of that broken leaf uh, cut um, that you see in some tobaccos. Not too unusual, um, not too out of the ordinary. So let me show you the tobacco. It comes in this um, this kind of um, gold pouch. So it's it's always hard to show the tobacco in these pouches. Let me see if I can do it. you can see that. hope that shows up well. As you can see the cut is um, pretty ordinary um, kind of variant cut um, but the tobacco looks nice. Um, it's not moist at all. Um, you can pack it pretty easily and it um, lights easily and smokes easily. Um, and when you smell it, they say uh, they say there's a uh, a nectar, a pistachio nectar that you that you get, and I'm not sure exactly what they mean by that, um, but there is there is kind of a, a nutty um, aroma to it um, that you get, but to me it's more subtle. To me. Um, I get fruity notes um, that seem to me more dominant um, from the Virginias, I think. So, yeah, I really smell the, the fruitiness of the Virginias um, coming forward. But there is um, a nuttiness, and some of that, of course, is from uh, the burleys that are in it. Um, and the double fermented uh, black Cavendish also has a sweetness to it that comes out. Um, but I think when you smoke it, um, the Cavendish is more of a supporting uh, role. I think what you get is the Virginias um, and the Burleys um, interplaying. Um, and so when you smoke it, it's very mild smoke, um, in my uh, opinion. Uh, it's, not, it's not anything that I would call a heavy aromatic or um, something that's just overwhelming the, the natural tobacco flavors. Um, so, mm, as I said, it's very mild and it's not overpowering, so it's it's a smoke that you can smoke and uh, it doesn't it doesn't overtake uh, your senses. Um, it's just very very subtle but very flavorful. Um, but like I said, I think um, the nuttiness is there. Uh, there is that the aroma of pistachio, but um, also I think balanced well with it is a kind of a sweet fruit uh, aroma uh, and and taste when you smoke it. Um, so I think it's a well balanced um, tobacco, and I think they did. Um, did well on it. Um, yeah, they they really um, they play up the the fact that it's a kind of a luxurious classical smoke, and um, uh, yeah, I think it um, it gets done what it needs to get done. Um, so I'm pleased with the tobacco. Um, I enjoy it, um, but for me, it's not a tobacco. Also, that 
really stands out um, in any in any kind of uniqueness. Um, I think if they could do more with the pistachio and um, and kind of bring that out more, perhaps it would it would be a, a tobacco for me that stands out a little bit more. But uh, but in the end, it's a good tobacco to smoke, uh, something that's enjoyable to smoke, um, and I like it. And it's not harsh. Uh, it doesn't bite you. It doesn't get too hot. Um, so it does all it does all the thi those things that we want a tobacco to do um, to smoke well to not get harsh uh, to not lose its flavor. Um, so I think they did well on that. Mm. So that's it. I'm going to finish my pipe um, and going to finish uh, a beer. Wolfgang. Uh, this is, um, I guess, uh, <laughs> uh, hello to you. Uh, found this uh, at a local shop here in Portland. So I'm going to finish my beer, my pipe. And I hope you guys are well. Take care. I'll see you again.